This is the new the new three wheel Vectrix. Yeah, could you roll that again and show how that works? Wow. So what's the top speed on this thing? You can see how it just sort of how much? Sixty two. Same as the other one. Yes. Uh, in almost every aspect, it is the same as the two wheel, uh, except for the, the two wheels in the front. Uh, yeah, which uh, makes it a still a motorcycle, but much more stable. Exactly. In fact, in California and Florida, for sure, you do not even need a motorcycle license to drive this vehicle. You don't need just a, a regular driver's license. You don't even need a helmet, as it turns out. <laughs> um, we still highly recommend the helmet. It is the exact same thing as the Piaggio in the front okay. there, but we changed it this whole styling a little bit. Like, for instance, they don't have a button as easily accessible as we do. Uh, they actually have a lock position, an unlock position. You are locked up. If you unlock it, the clock shows up and it's still steady. So there are some ways to know. Um, you don't have to be constantly going like this. It's just to make sure you're locked and you're actually going to come to a lock. It's uh, mid-summer next year. So um, by then they should be on the market. Uh, hopefully we'll be doing a couple little tweaks here and there to make it slightly more different um, uh, than the two-wheel bike also to get maybe a higher range to go a little faster or anything along those lines. What kind of batteries? Uh, right now it's nickel metal hydride. Nickel metal hydride. Yes. Who's the saft? Uh, Gold Peak. Gold Peak. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the same batteries. Yes. Are you looking at nickel metal, at lithium? Uh, we're looking into it. Unfortunately, right now, lithium has not worked for the bikes um, mm -hmm. the way we have them set up. Uh, there is a rumor going around that this bike will have lithium in it. It's nothing confirmed yet. Uh, that's hopefully one of the tweaks we'll be making. Mm -hmm. And what's the range of the three-wheel version? Uh, the range right now uh, we can only estimate to be slightly worse than the two-wheel only because it is about 30 to 40 pounds heavier than the two-wheel okay. bike. Well, great. So you could figure on um, 35 to 45 or maybe even 50. Well, we'll hope to see this next summer. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. We got this, we got this Mark Space Age batteries. We have a Stone Age drive system. Right? It's making us all nervous here. <laughs> So, uh, tell me, does this thing actually run? Oh, 6.7. Oh, jeez. <laughs> little baby motor. It's amazing how much those 6.7 is. You know, Bill? Have you ever met no. this guy? Oh, Bill Dre. He's the mad scientist okay. behind this. Yeah, so, fair. so this thing actually does run? Oh, yeah. 0 to 16, 0 0.97 seconds. 0.9? 7. Yeah, well, that's, is that kind of slow or is that fast? That's 2.89 G's. 2.9 G's? Point G's. Is that okay. Sure the 60 foot mark? What's that? That's 60 foot times or 1.45 seconds. So do you think you can get it? Do you think you can get it up to 4 G's? No, not on the dragster. Maybe a way out there if you get a wing on it or something like that. Wing. Down for it. You gotta get. You can't get the traction any better than that. Have you thought of putting a wing on it? When we go faster and faster, we'll probably put some aerodynamics on it to get some downdraft, down for it. Yeah, yeah. Three. That's the next step. So, Otmar made that controller, huh? What it is, the, uh, uh, the metal oxides have that free oxygen, uh, the metal oxides have the free oxygen to re or have oxygen to release as the temperature goes up. Yeah. And as you release oxygen, you're, burn you're burning lithium. You don't need air. Yeah. No, you're burning lithium. Yeah. And you burn lithium, and you release more oxygen. And then pretty soon, <laughs> you're boiling the electrolyte, and getting things hot enough, you're up to 1700 degrees or something inside there, and now you got a rocket engine. Firecracker events. Yeah. Not these. So is this the one not these. Crash? These don't do the thermal yeah. running. Crash? What did I Is there a crash? When was there a crash? Yeah, I, I uh, put this in the YouTube video. is really exaggerates what really happened. Yeah, I, I, I needed about another 10 feet before I could slow the thing down and stop. And it just didn't happen. <laughs> you know, so I kept the van at about 10 miles an hour. Nice. You see where I landed relative to the van. I needed that much more distance to stop the van. To stop the van. So it just munched the front tire and, it, and bent the front forks and it put a couple of cracks in the cowling and that was it. Seriously, you know, if I had uh, if, uh, if I had managed to shut it down, I would have cut the van in half. Right, right. <laughs> you know, there was a guy named Richard Craven who used to say that um, the problem with electric cars was that if you got into wrecks, the batteries would explode. Did they explode? I was did just going to ask you, did any did of the batteries explode? explode? Did you see any fire in that video? Yes. Huh? Nine point, it's nine point one kilowatt hours of, of energy. Yeah. And the, you know that's about 
It's a little less than a third of a gallon of gasoline. Yeah. But this is a 12 volt lithium battery pack. This is a, yes. Yeah. And it will have an integrated battery management system of some sort, and it'll be a standalone it. product. Is that correct? This is exciting because is these exciting. are these are something. This that, is what you want. Yeah. This is what you want for yes. an electric car. We have two different versions of this. One's uh -huh. uh, well, actually multiple. There's 12 volt and 24 volt versions. Okay. We have a 30 watt hour and a 60 watt hour version. Mm -hmm. So the 30 watt hour version has four of our 26 650 cells, and the 60 watt hour version has eight of them. So depending on the 4 in series, it's 12 volt. If 8 in series, it's 24 volt. And what's the charging protocol for this? It would be the same. Uh, you know, you can use a lead acid. You, there's a built-in circuit board, so the cells are mounted to a circuit board that has the cell balancing circuit in it. Really? So you can just plug a power supply to it, um, and it'll take care of itself. And shuts so, itself off. Shuts itself you off. You don't need a guy there to turn it off when all the lights turn green. Right, although there's a limit to how much power you can pump through it.